Hello everyone, my name is Michelle, I'm a collaborator here at VMP, and today I'm going to show you how to data log through the SCT X4 tuning device. There are some pros and cons to data logging through the device, the pro being you don't need a laptop in the car to log, the cons being you still need a desktop in order to pull the file from the device and to email it over to us. In addition, the refresh rate when logging through an SCT device is a little bit slower and sometimes the data can appear choppy and unusable on our end. To prepare, have LiveLink Gen 2 and SCT device updater already installed on the computer and make sure they're up to date. In addition, have your SCT device, the micro USB that was supplied with the device, and your OBD2 cable readily available. And I want to emphasize the importance of using the USB cable that came with your SCT device. Some cables are not able to transfer data because they're just a charging cable and they will not work. So let's jump into LiveLink and I'll show you how to create your DLX file. Once you have LiveLink Gen 2 open, you want to load the configuration file that was provided to you by your calibrator. Click the .cf4 file and click open. You'll see the parameters loaded on the left side of the screen. Click export DLF slash DLX from the top menu. Then select the device that you plan to use. You'll want to enter in a description that you'll be able to remember later, such as VMP config. Export, rename the file to VMP config, then save it on your desktop. If all went well, you'll see this message. For the next step, connect your SCT device to your laptop and be sure to close out a live link. You'll want to open up Device Updater and click Transfer File to Device. Once the device is detected, click Browse and select the DLX file you saved earlier. If successful, you'll see this message. Now that we have the configuration file loaded to the device, we can go and data log the vehicle. Connect the OBD2 cable to your car and to the top port of the SCT device. Once the device is powered on, you'll want to go to gauges slash data log. Turn the key on. Don't start the engine. Select configuration. And you'll see the list of configuration files that are available on your SCT device. Click the up arrow to navigate to the bottom of the list where you'll find VMP config. Once on the gauge screen, you can start recording your data log by clicking the right arrow and start record data. You'll know it's recording by the REC in the middle. This is when you'll want to go out and perform the data logs that your calibrator has requested. Once you've performed the logs, you can stop the recording by clicking Stop Record Data. Once you're done logging, disconnect your device from your car and head back inside. Now that we have the data log saved to the SCT device, you'll want to open up LiveLink, click COM from the top menu, and check Communication. Once communication is established, you can import the data log by clicking Import Data from the top menu. Once the data log is loaded, you'll see the parameters on the left side of the screen, along with the colorful representation on the right. To save the data log, you'll click Save and Save All at the top menu. Do not click Save View. It will not work. Name the file using identifiable information, such as VMP data log, your last name, and the SCT X4 serial number. Once saved, email that file to your calibrator with any questions or concerns that you may have. I hope to hear that this video has helped you and I look forward to reviewing your log soon. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you next time.